Easter yesterday is another beautiful moment. Sitting in the house with DJ Brendan on the Access Radio Radio in the Melish Family Studio. My love and regards to all my fans out there. People are traveling the world today. Different vacations. Different occasions, I bring you joy. And love from the Creator to my heart. This is Insights, the program which uplift you, bring you into a different mood segment of life. Opening your eyes onto reality. It's like a new baptism within you. Tuning into Tony Prophet. I just see him wearing it on my shirt today. You will hear a lot, a lot of Tony Prophet today. Songs that uplift you and words to impact you. Big respect to Shopping others out there on the outside, DJ Tanka, the old works, the Proverbian sisters, Anne Marie out of Grenada, and to all Caribbean crew, we send love to the marriage from the studio and to you. You're in tune with insights every Thursday. At 7 p.m. Number the call is for 7326 And today we'll be dealing with the pipeline as bending roll into another reggae rubber dub style as we go. The father in pop with the world. He asked me what is in your pipeline. DJ Blending with our track. Who's coming to dinner? This is our bringing to the feast. This is the man called Michael Rose himself. as parables unto your life. Yes. Who is coming to your dinner table to eat with you? So let's give thanks and praise Nati Jada. I appreciate the work you brought for me Nati Jada. This is Insights. Now the things and time of change that brings me to real I'm demanding you to let me know within yourself who is into your pipeline. What is coming from your pipelines? Expectations. Expectations. Within a pipeline, you know, water comes from a pipeline. It quenches your thirst. It cleanses you. 
your expectation for our pipeline today. But do remember that many, many things can be in that pipeline. Many reactions too. So let's give thanks and praise now to What is your expectation today from your pipeline, which is your life? And that I want to be an attitude. Who is coming to your dinner? Who is coming to lunch? Who are you breaking your fast with? Speaking of your breakfast. I'm just coming in for the food. Breakfast, I must make this announcement right now and before another one later. Um, Chaplain Audit is having a prior breakfast coming up in um, June 17, 2023. Price for the ticket is $25, children $10. You can't miss out on this fabulous breakfast coming up. The address is going to be at 5 Goswell Street, Brampton, Ontario. I don't know, I didn't get a ticket to do like a prize winning ticket, but I know she's going to be doing that on a show hosted by her, Chaplin Odette, and um, she will be giving out prizes also, I think, concerning the breakfast ticket. So speaking of guess who's coming to dinner, we're talking about guess who's coming to breakfast. You're going to be there. It's going to be June 17, 2023. 10.30 a.m. in the morning as we roll the prayer break fast. I will make more comments on that later on. Grab your ticket as we roll. So that every mouth can be fed. I said every mouth shall be fed. Get up in the morning, stay day for rest, so that the day the remote can do it. Hello is the king of things. Hello is the prophet king of things. I really, really do appreciate that. As we go one more time, do remember the prayer breakfast is coming up in June 17, 2023. You can't miss that. 10.30 a.m. I know Aunt Marie is going to be there. Grab your ticket, $25 each. Get up in the morning, stay day for rest, so that the day the remote can do it. As we ask, who is in your pipeline? What is your expectation? What do you expect to see and get into life? Is it coming your way? Is it drifting away? Do you know what your biggest disappointment is when the expectation doesn't come true? You gotta tell your friends when they miss inside they miss a great show. Come on, tell me some of your goals. What is in your pipeline today? 
Do you have a goal to meet the greatest husband? Do you have a goal to meet a virtuous woman? Do you have a goal to be rich? Like Richard Blending? that morning in the breakfast season but blending is telling you to pause the dachi and make sure you get your poor breakfast tickets ready with other tickets you have more breakfast when you're married for 12 years, 13, 15, 20, 30 years and within all those years your expectation is not yet met. How do you feel? Talk to me today. 647 That is in the pipeline. of wisdom. What is your expectation in life today? What is your goal? What are your goals? down the road. There were lights all over the street, all over the posts, all over the houses, fireworks in the air. You were shouting up in your year. Within those pipelines there were expectations that were met. 
There were expectations that were spoken. Things to expect in the new year to come. Let me ask you right now. Those expectations that are not yet met. How do you feel today? How are you handling those goals? to Jamaica in Montego Bay. Come on, let me know. Text me and tell me something that you experienced in Montego Bay. Come on. The beautiful beaches in Montego Bay. Oh. How about the church chicken in Montego Bay, Jamaica? If your country do good church chicken too, text me and let me know 647 Let me know about your country church chicken and your pork. I know Grenada is an like infinite selfish thing, you know what I mean, but I think they do jerk pork too. Come on Grenada, let me know what you can cook. Not to mention Vincentius, they are excellent in their jerk chicken. <laughs> All Caribbean people know what we are talking about when it comes to cooking food. Do you know when you cook food from the Caribbean country or the Caribbean people cook their food? You leave it over 10 days, it still tastes the same. But if you put the pizza or whatever in the fridge the following day, it's garbage. Big up for Grenada with their spice. Trinidad with their hot pepper spice. One fellow, the Texans say they do everything in Grenada. I don't know if they cook pour water, manish water and grenade. I don't know what they call it, but they cook something. <laughs> Have you ever experienced a grenade cooking aki and salvage before? I taste that in St. Vincent, it's excellent. <laughs> Speaking of salvation, there's a dish in salvation called the blackfish. You want to try that one? You want to try that one, the blackfish? Not to mention the pilau.
the stress and the challenge is getting you down, it is there to build you. Sometimes you feel like you hit the end of the road. Sometimes you like you're the end of the road, like you're the end of the cliff. Don't jump. Challenges are there to test you. Challenges are there to build you. Chicky Kita. This is a perfect example. Some people think there's no hope for tomorrow, but you're wrong on that idea. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters. I want to speak on a word on my next program. It's called disability. Within the disabilities in your life, there is an ability for you to rise. Let no friends, no family members, nobody put you down. Tell the prophet is reminding you that you have the power to rise. Merry God, a good night to you also. Love to have you on my time. It's been a long time. Way too long. I hate to see you like this. Do listen to this song carefully. Speak to your challenges. Challenge your challenges. Stand up within your challenges and rise. Please do rise to your challenges. It comes into the pipeline of your life. Believe it or not, she is so impact with reality and culture, so packed with wisdom and knowledge. You don't want to miss this one. Call your friends, tell them to tune in. But here's something that will impact their life forever. I promise you that. There is no way you can deny it. this word and plant it within your mind. Plant this word within your soul. It was given to me by the creator God Almighty himself on my way to the riverside to pray and intercede with him. Listen to this word right now. If you are a queen, remain as a queen. If you are a king, Remain as a king. If you are a mother, remain being a mother. If you are a father, keep remaining being a father. Whoever you are, which is success and progress, to take you to your goals, remain being that person. You know why? A lot of challenges will come. Challenges are going to be all over the place. Don't let them take you down. Don't let them slow you down. Don't allow them to detour you. Don't allow them to eliminate your thoughts. Remember, remain being who you are when challenges come. As we move once more to Shigita. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Hello? 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 
Can you hear me? Yeah. How are you doing today? Good. Good, good. I'm happy to get you on the line. Um, we're talking about um, things that are happening in our life, which comes within the pipeline. We're using the pipeline as, as a, uh, could you, the person in the background, could you tell the person to stop speaking, please? We're getting feedback. Yeah. We're talking about the pipeline in our life today, you know, and we're saying things are happening within our lives, things to get us down, things that throw us apart, and we're still going to stay intact and focus on what we're doing. Are you agreeing with that? Good. Can you tell me something that you're expecting to have in life today? You're open for? Um, Are there something that you, you want to achieve? A goal? A job you want? A restaurant you want to open? A store you like to open? Things for your children? What's in your pipeline today? Let me hear you. Yes. Yes. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I see you're a person of nature. You want the sunshine within your life to shine brighter. Give you brighter light in the darkness. Am I right? Mm -hmm. How about your children? What, what, what are what are some of the goals? Or what are the goals you would like for your children if you do have children? That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That are some of the greatest things any parents would really want to have or hope to get achieve for the children. And um how about your uh, relationship with Jehovah? Do you pray and read your Bible sometimes? That's a must. That's a must. I love that. But um on our program today I got a word for the for the nation. The word is if you're a queen, remain as a queen. If you're a king, remain as a king. If you're a good mother like the way your son you are, remain as a good mother. Because things are gonna happen, circumstances are gonna come but don't let them detour you. Don't let them deteriorate you from your works. Stay focused and being a good mother. Okay? Sure. Good. So remain as a queen, my caller. And I love you. And we'll talk again. Tell your friends to call in the same. Okay? Thank you very much for calling in. Have a wonderful Thursday evening. Uh, good night. Thank you. Good night. Uh, Check the key tells me real. Yeah. The caller said she wanted the best for her children. She wants the sunshine in her life. She wants the rainfall over her body. She wants to be soaked with blessing. I cannot disagree with that. We double the spiritual bigger swag. If things aren't done to good for you, you can get rid of that badness. Draw closer to wisdom and knowledge. Check out your pipeline, question your life. Please say God is good. And see what she's saying right there. She's giving you hopes. The things I've been through in life, some people said they thought I would kill myself. I thought I would kill myself and give up in life. But I wrote a song, there's a plant, I'll play it later on. Whenever God Almighty is with you, I'm telling you, my sister and brethren, you can never go wrong. Some will laugh with you, some are with you, give you encouragement, but in the pipeline they're there to tear you apart. Sadly to say, listen, Chiki to Abba right now. Did you do a beautiful job? Wonderful. 
truly done. Can I ask you a very serious question right on this note? What does your blessings bring to you? Make you spend the chapter on the Lord, dear John Magnesia. Great song. I just want to let you know you're very important. This one is called Dreams. some more wisdom right here. Do you know your biggest enemy could be you? Uh-uh, that one hurts. Come on, text us and call us. Call in and text me, let me know. Do you think your biggest enemy could be you? Do you think your biggest fight in your life could be you? Let's talk reality right now, insights. is going today, the Jehovah God Almighty, you call him Jesus Christ, doesn't really matter. He's not important to much of us today. Because in the pipeline, the answers answer everything. Money, things, material things. Everybody forget about Jesus Christ. So sad. That's one of our biggest enemy today, you. Text to say sometimes it can be. Let me remind you something, Miss Queen. Whatever people done to you, the reaction falls on you. Whatever people say about you, it all depends on you. Your words have no power over your life unless you give it the power. Are you agreeing with me, DJ Blending? Even if you're a thief and they say you're a thief, you can tell them you're not a thief and stop thieves. Come on, talk to me, my callers. No matter who you are in life today, you can change that now. The greatest enemy in your life is you. You have the power over scorpions, snakes. Do you want me to continue? This is insights. I will tell you my loyalty to the truth. I'll open your eyes up to reality. Your biggest enemy is you, not the devil. He has no power over your life. Are you agreeing? 
sing with me, my listeners. My father said when the right on a friend, you cut it off. That's his voice. Thank you. I will not see my children on the roadside begging bread. Wake up, my children. Trees, free food. And D. You can change it. You have the power. I gotta play it one more time. I'm sorry, I gotta play it one more time. Emmanuel Beauty, she texts us that sometimes you can be your own enemy by your thoughts and negativity, by putting yourself down and putting others first. I'm loving that text. I'm loving that text. She said, sometimes you can be your own enemy by putting your thoughts and negativities by putting yourself down and putting others first. That's what I'm talking about. This God will get what I'm talking about. Your biggest enemy is you. Come on, don't let the world fool you anymore. Just like I speak about rest in peace, how could you tell me to live in war and when I'm dead you're telling me to rest in peace? What nonsense is that? Tune into insights and forces. That's why told the prophets, tune the level of Jehovah or dare by him to speak the truth over the eyes of his people. To reality. How could you put people first? Only one go first before you and it's John Almighty himself. Not if your husband go before you, now your wife go before you. Wake up. Because you're a leader within yourself. Good night, Marsha Dublin. We're from out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We love you, baby. I know Marsha is a nurse, and before she becomes a nurse, she tells herself she's going to become a nurse. And she is a nurse. I know during the time of studying, before she becomes a nurse, she's been through a lot of stuff. She didn't give up. She keep holding on to her goals. That's in her pipeline. Like uh, Marsha Dublin, because she is a woman of integrity, a woman of passion, of love, a woman who believes in fear Jehovah. Now she's a true nurse. Who was she before? She was who she believed in, who she believed to be. My respect to you, Marsha Dublin. Come on, my children, come on, my children, my sisters and brothers. Let them let me know you're there. Stop putting down others. Lift up yourself. Take the words from your eyes and build you instead of kill others with it. to other people prospe perspectives on you that you can have an impact in your life and affect who are you today and how you think of yourself 
You never know how someone worse can actually affect you. These are wisdom speaking right there. The words of another person can affect you. So in the challenge is stand up on your own. Because the biggest enemy in your life is you. Today we are reversing the curse of people putting you down and rebuking you. What nonsense is that? If your brother ever falls, why don't you help him along the way? Let him lean on your shoulder rather than sinking with salt. I can't tell you why the father chose me to be a prophet. Let me tell you something. Within my heart, if you think I have a guy, you can call and tell me on the show. I have no guile. I have no bad mind. I have no grudge. I want no malice for nobody. I want you to do the same, please. This is one prophet who comes to prophesy life, not what you do or what you're doing, rather than to change the bad things that you're thinking. Jumping out of the watch on a show like this the next time I want you to voice your opinion because I know your impact with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding also. They said to play it one more time, I gotta play it if they said so. One text is said, but you always need to know that you're amazing in God's eyes. It took him nine months to create you and six days to create the world. On the seventh day, he rested. So imagine how great you are. Can you believe Texas are texting these things? The Texas said, Emmanuel Beauty said, but you always need to know that you're amazing in God's eyes. It took him nine months to create you and six days to create the world. I never looked into that like that. And on the seventh day, he rested. So imagine how great you are. You have a purpose. I'm loving it. see the picture on the on the screen she said my thoughts on me and others is I believe that everyone is unique and has their own strengths and weaknesses beautiful I try to focus on my own personal growth and not compare myself to others I'm loving this I'm just loving this I'm just loving this text Rachel Melish, my daughter, she said, my favorite thing about this life is you always have fun with positive vibes and you learn wisdom. And to God Almighty be the glory. She said her daddy is her favorite thing about the life is he always have fun with positive vibes and you learn wisdom. And to God Almighty be the glory. This is where Mary Carter come in. She said, Everyone, please believe in yourself. That's positive. Okay, please believe in yourself. And believe in yourself. It could be corroded, anything could block your water. Yes. You got the power to clear. to a 
Before you look at the sun, you say you don't dress good. You change into five different dresses before you're comfortable yourself. You change into three different shoes. If you're trying to match and telling yourself you're not looking good, let me tell you something. You're beautiful. Everybody plays a fool. Your greatest downfall could be you. Then the call is from out of St. Vincent. Say good night, Prophet and DJ Blended. Good night to you, sweetie. Up to up here on the show. We're talking about the pipeline in our lives. No matter what people put you down, Glenda, remember you're special. Don't let nobody stop your moves, whatever you're doing in life, which is good. Let your dreams come true. Positive. in life a lot of people tell me I'm gonna come to nothing good in life a lot of people tell me I can't sing a lot of people tell me all kind of negative things today I got four magazines to publish one book I wrote my own songs I wrote my own lyrics I compose my own videos I act them I have the greatest family around me I have God Almighty to lead me I'm a prophet ordained by Jah Almighty to speak positive thoughts unto the people just like what Glenda called his text right now. I am so positive within myself and I'm sure I'm going to heaven. I said I'm sure my seat is in heaven. I'm telling you positive thoughts right now. Right now. Right now positive She's telling to this song. If you surround yourself with positiveness, you have to be positive. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop this song right there. This show is getting more greater and greater. These people are giving me goosebumps. Mary Carter texts me, Your greatest enemy is you, which is true. And she also say your greatest achievement is also you. Now I see where my colors are getting, where I'm getting to right now. That is perfectly so correct. I could end the show right here in this positive talk. Your greatest achievement is also you. I love that. I said before, if you're a queen, remain a queen. If you're a king, remain a king. If you're a gold, remain a gold. Don't let nothing stop you. Let me tell you something right now on the sweet music. They said to pull it, I'm gonna pull it one more blending. Let me tell you something right now. If you're driving a BMW and I'm riding a donkey going to Montego Bay, we're gonna get there somehow at the same time. Alright? If you drive if you're riding a plane, flying to a helicopter and I'm riding a bicycle, we're going downtown, we're gonna go down there too. We're gonna reach. Don't let nobody stop you. Let me share one blessing with you right now. You're looking at a man that his face was burned with acid. My face was burned with acid. You could not see my eyes, only whiteness. The doctor said I'm blind. And right in front of the doctors and those people, Jaovia. Work is miracle. Get my face back to normal until today. I haven't wear glasses. I haven't used any form of liquid or nothing for my eyesight. That is a healing and blessing from Jehovah. Nothing will stop Tony Prophet. And the same thing goes to you too. I know all of you ladies out there, you have your little sicknesses. And Jehovah brought you to remember to continue giving them that. Remember to continue giving him praise. And remain as a queen. 
Teresa said, I reach out, I tell you some jealous. You didn't say I told the prophet, but we love you the same. <laughs> I tell you, sir, that we love you. Shalom, shalom from Ellie, wonderful man, wonderful man. I know this man, Ellie, from Jerusalem. Right? Let me tell you something about this man. He has a beautiful boat downtown, and he always invites us. We always go. He have his jet skis, all of that. And from the summer kicks in, I've been there. But Ellie, I wanted to know that as soon as you want us to be on the boat, let me know. I'm ready and waiting for it. Anita Baker. Teresa and Ellie, let nobody stop you guys in life. Your king and queen remain king and queen until Jehovah said, Come to me, my son and daughter. Don't let nobody put negative things in life. Don't let nobody try to dispute you, detour you for what you're doing. Arista, Ellie, we love you. God of you here for a purpose and we love you. We love you too. I want to share some little information during the show. Within your house, my listeners, within your house, make a little area, maybe from a sheet or a curtain, with a table, your Bible, your water, your candle, and give that to Jehovah. Take it to be a resting place of prayer, interceding with the Father. Give back something to Him. He loves you. Let me also reimburse you with some blessing. All of my children, all of my children, I've never heard one day one of them are sick. I will speak the truth of Jehovah. I cannot tell the world one day one of my children, all of my children, ever been admitted to the hospital. To God be the glory. That's a blessing. There are some blessing we ought to know. Check yourself out. Have you ever been hospitalized in the hospital before? Come on. Let me know what's in your pipeline. You are blessed. Don't matter the money that you're not having, don't matter the bills, don't matter what you're going to stay blessed. Let me fight you up some more right now. This one is for you. Listen to this one and get your life. Get your feet rocking. The show gets hot with wisdom. We love you, Teresa. I want to see you dancing right now. This one is hot. Got me going on my feet. Sometimes in life you gotta jump for joy. God Almighty put some people in your life you're blessed forever. I can go to the door and just keep for free. I can go to sailboat for free. I can go to any house anytime and get food for free. I can go to money house and get wood to burn for free. I can take any day of work and I have no problem. I go to St. Vincent, the Prime Minister, and everybody greet.
fix me for free. My storm never empty. I'm speaking prophecy in your life right now, prosperity. You are blessed more than Tony Prophet. No one for you, one for me. Pray for me. Pray for you. You pray for me. I pray for you. You pray for me. I pray for you. You pray for me. Mary Connor said, if I want a partner, sure, I do need a partner. Do you remember sometimes some things come into your life because I might put it there to clear some stuff? You might put you through some difficulty just to get you stronger. Do you remember Jehovah? <laughs> Let me ask you one question. How often do you filter your life? How often do you hug your children and say, let us live in love again? How often do we apologize to our wives and husbands? Baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm hurting. Could we make it up? I love that word. Could we make it up? When you fall in love, it's a wonderful thing. Don't let sadness destroy it. I'm gonna rock you today. People come to your door, sometimes God can send them with a message too. Don't join them away. Tell them you haven't got much time, but you listen to them at least. They are messengers. Don't beat the church down if you can go, go. Even once a month or whatever, go. Listen to the word of Jehovah come from somebody else. Don't matter what God you serve, treat each other with love. I have no importance or interest in who you serve. I don't care. But whoever you serve, treat your partner, your neighbor with love. As soon as the show done, I give you a ring. Children will have come out of Jamaica. I'm going to form a reunion soon. To do the grave of my mother, my grandmother, and others. We'll be there. She said, What? Are you feeling the love right now as we roll? Are you feeling me? Let God Almighty have control. You can't go wrong. You can't go hungry. 
When people get the negativity, go up the ladder one notch more and let them people down this up. tomorrow on the lake. This is where it gets hot. Ellie says, Sunday we're going to the island. Ellie says, love the dance, Richard Antonio, no one fire. Check out your pipeline. Stick with all of you. Because I found love. Did you know that love conquer all? some things out of your life because including things could be very sorrowful let's go some wisdom today I said including certain things in your life could be very sorrowful Whenever Teresa cooks selfish, me near it like crazy. Whenever they give me pillow, I just near me 
going back. Because I fall love. You cannot hurt on the prophet. They cannot hurt you either. You cannot put down Tony Prophet and he goes down. Same goes to you. You have the power to stand and rise. Sleeping, he's not waking. All right, so I'm telling you, this is so exciting. The show is full of fun, and we're learning as we go along because we want you to know that including certain things in your life could be sorrowful. All right, no baby, gonna ring your bell and let you know what's going on. within your life. There's some plants that are very hard to get rid of. They go deep like a dandelion. The roots. Some is like a peppermint plant that spread all over the place. You never find the roots. It's all over. I'm advising you, my brothers, please do check yourself. Let's live in happiness. I said including certain blessing in your life could be sorrowful. What is in your pipeline? Six four seven three two six four seven nine seven. Do remember the breakfast fire coming up. The fire breakfast. Hosted by Chuck and Odet. June 17, 2023. Price one of her dollars, children 10. Place to be. Five Gospel Street, Brompton, Ontario. Something that delicious, fabulous, fabulous breakfast coming up, you know. Remember that. As we move into the segment once more. One, two, three, the pop, four, the pop, rock. Five, six, oh, it's going to get hot, 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 hot. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
I told you, can only get utter, utter and utter. I'm telling you that right now. When it comes to sadness, there's sadness in the road, Jack. When it comes to sickness, sickness, you got to go. Poverty in the road, Jack. I'm telling you, we're going to stay positive. As long as you're informed and involved with Tony Prophet, you're going to stay positive. We say no to poor. What you say? We welcome prosperity. Are you feeling the love I'm feeling? Give me you say so. I got the type of thing that go. I said negativity we eat in the road, Jack. Anything to get you down, eat the road, Jack. As long as you stay with Jehovah, you will eat no one side of means. Provide just like you provide for the sparrows. I wonder if you're feeling the positiveness I'm feeling right now. Come on, ladies, treat your husband properly, please. Especially the man, treat the woman good, no man. Give the children what they want. Even the locks on my head carry fire and power. The simple locks on my head is power, my friend. I want to grant the words to all people. You got the power and the words to melt your enemy down. In the road, Jacks. There are some people coming to your life to destroy your family. They come with a great smile and great talks. They mean you no good. Eat the road, Jack. Sweating at work, Obia. You ever hear about Obia? People take your shoes and your stuff to work, Obia, to stop you. Run them out of the life, Chuck. I'm telling this song is not normal. Listen. Tony Puppy come to cut and clear. What you say? If you're a poor warrior, they don't want to tear you apart. If you're saying sweet, they don't like you, even in the church. There's three people in life who don't like you have a problem. The rest 
can go to the road, Jack. Otherwise, go to hell. Three people in your life, if they don't like you, you have a problem. Can you text me and tell me who before the sun down? Three people, even one. If they don't like you, you have a problem. I give you one chance to text me and tell me. 647326. 4797, tell me three people in your life, even one, if they don't like you, you have a big problem. What you say? problem. If your mother and father don't like you, you have no problem. Don't matter who don't like you, you have no problem. But if your son, your daughter, or your wife, or your husband don't like you, you have a problem. Hit the road, child. I'm talking reality. If your son and your daughter don't like you, or your wife, or your husband, your kid, you have a problem. Otherwise, any family members or friends don't like you, they can go to hell and hit the road, child. But if your mate like your husband or your wife or your girlfriend, your boyfriend or your children don't like you, you have a problem. Because they can go where they want to go. Brothers and sisters can go where they want to go. Your wife and children, come on, if they don't like you, you have a problem. Nightmare. Foolishness. Agony, what you stress when they don't like you. But the rest of the street can always go hit the road. I gotta play one more time. Yes. I said if your wife or your husband or your children don't like you, you have a problem. Your parents don't like you, you have a problem. Look into it deeply. What you say? your mom and dad that they don't like you. That's why I don't mention them. I'm talking about you as a mother or a father or your children. What could you do to your parents or your family or your friends that they don't like you? Tell them in the road, Jack. But when your son and your daughter don't like you and your wife or your husband, you have a big problem. What you say? Love your wife and your husband and your children? Let's lift them up. They are bosom. Do you remember David and Absalom? <laughs> Do you remember the prodigal son? <laughs> Come on, my daughter, education. Talk to me. So, kill him? Come on, talk to me. You remember that? Do you remember Jesus Christ? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You can't mean that. Oh, that I I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. We're not joking around. Here we go. If you and your daughter, your 
members agree, please find time out to call them this night or tomorrow morning and try to make it up. They are very important. Your children are very important to you. Your husband, your wife, your mate, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, try to make it up, please. What you do to me? They are very important to you. Mary said all those people that don't like you, they can eat the road jack and never come back. This is where I give you some more love. If you know this song, you know what I'm talking about. I play this one for Ellie Straight to Teresa. From Dexter to Anne Marie. I told you I found love. Listen this one coming from the screen, man. For all my listeners out there, I want you to find love tonight. This comes into the filter of your pipeline. One called Seal. Pipeline. 
Yeah. I'm talking about go out and buy some shorts that you want to see your husband in, in tonight or your boyfriend. Buy some underwear for them that you want to see them in. Treat your wife the same when your girlfriend too. Go to the stores yourself. Don't send them. But I want to see them sleep in tonight. I'm talking about love. Jehovah created love. Why don't we love? I said we need love. Sometimes you're going to play pillow fights. Feed each other with the grapes. Pull the bottom and light the candlelights. Put on your husband pajama, you put on yours. Get the theater surrounding sound into your bedroom. Go for a walk in the evening, sometimes in the morning on the weekend. Don't put nobody before your partner or your children. Put them first. That is love. Pray together. Are you feeling me? is a great thing into your life also when you massage each other especially the feet come on talk whenever you walk on the gardens and with each other in the hose that's love man chasing each other around the yard with the hose wetting each other come on you want to feel those moments I love is in my pipeline. You better. I love that song. Love is in my pipeline. I love that. What is in your pipeline tonight? Is it love? Come on, let's do some loving right now. What is in your pipeline? Ellie, talk to me. Teresa, talk to me. I'm going to raise the Williams out there. DJ Tank, I'm going to yet. lights DJ blending LED lights yeah man buy LED LED lights and put them in your house man and create a little thing man play these kind of songs daily don't let pastor tell you to be in church every Sunday not go so spend time with your husband and your wife you hear me Go to church every Sunday, spend time with your family. You know, pastor man, fool you. Or every Saturday. I know you're gonna have disagreements. You're gonna have disagreements. They will have to happen. Don't worry about it. Kiss and make up, man. Buy a game of bingo, a game of card, domino, whatever, and play some fun with your family. I'm gonna teach you something about the power of love, alright? I'm gonna teach you something. I'm bringing you the power of love right now. It is true love when the Creator created the world create me and you and give us the power to live it as I look in your eyes I 
To keep you more alive I'm gonna take you to another mood Another groove Make sure you run your sandals Not your eyes You're gonna dance the night away What is in your bird loin? not wrong to you. What is Sabuka? Somebody tell me what is Sabuka. I want to know what is Sabuka in the Salvation. Salvation. I don't see them put pimento in the Salvation. 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 Our friend is fed up with horn. What is H O R N horn? I know pop pop does a horn. What she mean? I don't know. 
Selfish before you cook it. Talk to me, somebody. Why do you have to soak selfish before you cook it? No, it's not soft. Why do you have to soak selfish before you cook it? I cook fish straight. I can never feel selfish with scale. Can you text me and tell me if you ever see a selfish with scale? with scale and why do you soak selfish before you cook it? I've never seen that fry selfish. Did you see that fry selfish Dublin? Dublin say yes. How about selfish soup? Have you ever tried the selfish soup? Forget to my youth, believe me. salt and soften it to clean it better. I got the talk there. I don't want to look soft and selfish, but she said she do it. I don't want say no sorry. But John, I'm not the salt is the, is the um, pleasure of the earth, you know. Salt so is the favor to the earth. So I don't want no salt in a selfish. Why you got the selfish if you don't want no salt into it? Talk to me. Teach me something that I'm teaching you. Why you buy the selfish if you don't want any salt into it? Why didn't you buy selfish a fresh fish instead? Talk to me, Masha Dublin, Anne Marie Williams, Ollie Williams, also Mary Carter. Tell me why you buy selfish if you don't want that. Mary says she can't enjoy when it's salt. Who tell you that? We don't sell the food fresh. You guys are making no sense to me right now, you know. It doesn't look like Mary can't come from the Caribbean and Anne Marie or Marsha Dublin because they're telling me you soak it to get it clean it better. One say no salt, one say it too salt. What are you talking about? You buy a sandwich? Why didn't you buy chicken back instead? It was fun all the way through in a place that was called Georgetown. I never seen one day down there, them people are dead yet. I'm gonna tell him, start to say, 
sell salt fish, one fresh, one salt. So people have a choice. I want to see the one doing the scale, Annika. Every fish is supposed to have scale, you know. I heard in reality, salt fish is the ugliest fish ever made. Is it true? If you Google it, selfish is the ugliest fish ever created in the ocean. Check it out. There's no selfish that is good looking or pleasant to look at. Am I right or wrong? No, they can't drink Let me talk truth. America to say too much salt is not good. Who said that? You have a point, you know, because lot wife did turn in a pill of salt because she looked back. <laughs> when you eat fresh salt, if you want salt, I can't go taste good without salt. <laughs> Next time I will buy sweet fish. And I is there no care too sweet. I remember Sparrow, I think it's Sparrow and Arrow. One of those guys said all salt is sweet. Hey, freak, you just a I'm going to go up there. There's no other program without soca. No party without soca. Yeah, nice, all the way to. Vincentians and soca writers from all over the world. There's one man writer I can't call him name to talk about him call up Ralph name. He told a soca when called. He said the man's a ripper man. He mean a big trouble, you know. He mean I say you can't compose the thing, but you have to know what you're doing when I call names. This is what I say, General. This is what I say, General. This is what I say, General. This is what I
Right now we're gonna roll your brain on the center of your bed zine. Yeah, it's all about love. Come and drop it! I'm going to roll it off on this one. So coming to an end. And so we do it seen. Hold on. You can do it around them. On the club jump find them. Why we can't keep tying them. And it's going to be okay. You can do it around them. On the club jump find them. Why we can't keep tying them. Why is 
gonna pull up, we gonna pull up. It's Stormy Prophet at the end of the show. Oh, I'm an wicked man. Do you know the state the pipeline is? right now I want you to just stay focused for the rest of the day the rest of the year the rest of your life and do remember within your pipeline a lot of expectations gonna be there challenge is gonna be there your blessing is coming also remember your greatest downfall is you the greatest enemy is you and the greatest upliftment in life is you so stay focused, Tony Prophet reminding you of that. So Tony Prophet, stay focused. <laughs> There's a request for your love. I'm gonna play it for you. DJ Blending, find me your love, the final one to go. Just remain focused and know that you are. This is the final one. Don't be perfect! 